Basically, uh, I'm going to talk about my passion, which is basically fitness, and how it became a business for me. Okay? So Pushmore was basically um, something that I started about a couple of years ago. And the program that we run, the main program we run is called CrossFit. Okay? So CrossFit is an elite fitness program which was started in the US. Okay? Um, started as a garage gym, starting as an underground fitness program. And now it's, uh, <coughs> it's, it's basically gone worldwide. Uh, it's all gone viral, if you would say, in that sense. Um, what is it? It's uh, basically the workouts consist of constantly varied functional movements done at high intensity. Um, hallmark of about CrossFit is that um, it's intense and the workouts are short. So basically, in that short period, you work very, very hard. And uh, why do I call it open source fitness program? Because number one is CrossFit was mainly driven by CrossFit.com. Everything that you want to know about CrossFit can be found on this website and we have contributors from people from different parts of the fitness industry. And like uh, for us locally, we use pushmore.com.my to uh, basically publish our workouts, take comments from people who try the workouts and basically improve based on the feedback that we get from uh, people who actually do our workouts. Um, Mike behind there is one of the guys who actually do our workouts. Okay, um, CrossFit workouts are based around the workout day, WOD. So uh, in the gym, we have a whiteboard which we wrote that, write down the workout day and <coughs> people come in the gym, see what's on the board and you do that. So there's always that variation. You never know what you're going to do until you actually show up in the gym. Okay, so uh, the workouts consist of a few types of elements, which is uh, number one, uh, metabolic conditioning, motor structure, things like running, rowing, cycling, swimming. These are things that uh, basically uh, have repetitive movements. Okay, so this is one element of the workouts, one part which you can use. Other elements we use gymnastics, so you can see uh, hands and push-ups, jumps, using the rings. This are another element that we use and we throw into our workouts. Okay, so just one, one part of the puzzle. Another part that we actually use, if you see in the next slide as it comes up, is weightlifting. So weightlifting we define as anything you lift um, other than your own body weight. So whether it's a kettlebell here, whether it's a barbell, um, that's considered weightlifting. It can be all objects as well, it can be stones, it can be uh, sandbags. As long as you're lifting external objects, that's considered weightlifting. And another big part about CrossFit is uh, the community. Uh, people actually get very excited about uh, their workouts because number one is they share experience with people they work out with and they actually have fun at the same time. So um, not only in the gym but on the outside. And um, I'm going to finish off with a video of Okay, so typical workout, 21, 15, 9 reps, uh, you have deadlifts and you have handstand push-ups, okay? So deadlift, that's a 100 kilo bar there, okay? So in this workout, I will complete 21 repetitions of this movement, then immediately followed by 21 handstand push-ups. So <coughs> one hallmark about CrossFit workouts as well is that workouts are always timed. We time our workouts, so the whole point is based on, um, okay, traditional fitness markers uh, you think of when, um, how will you tell whether you're doing well uh, or you're improving? Or maybe I look better in the mirror, you know, maybe um, I feel a bit slimmer today. But what we're looking at here for a CrossFit workout is based on performance. So we are timing our workouts, we are uh, taking account the load we lift, we are taking account the range we move and the movement that we use. So it's a performance based program as well. It's, uh, it's not something like that's intangible. Oh, today you look a bit better. Today you're performing better than numbers don't lie. Okay, so that's actually how you tell. So moving from each movement to the other, this is only two movements, you want to actually go as quick as possible and to achieve the highest amount of work output being intensity. The more work output you uh, basically uh, churn out, the higher your capacity, the better your fitness is. It's a little bit scientific, but if you think about it, the more efficient your uh, car engine is, the more power you'll be able to actually uh, create. So same thing with the human body, we train it in that manner. The more efficient your human body, your body is at uh, creating and uh, work, doing work and having higher work output, the fitter you will be. Okay, it's not possible for a uh, world class athlete to be unfit or to actually look fat. Okay, so basically, a person who is a high class athlete will look like a, a world class athlete. They will look the way they perform. Okay, so uh, in that sense, uh, form will fall, always follow your function. Okay, so. Basically, that's CrossFit in a nutshell. You can see the workout. This is the, uh, as I hit towards the end of the workout. So, as you can see, the fatigue is setting in. So, the whole point is basically having that intensity in the workouts. That's why it works. This workout, you know, anybody can do it. You know, it just depends how long. You know, if you take the whole day and do it, yeah, probably no problem. But the whole time is compressing all that into a short period and having that highest amount of work output and highest amount of intensity. That's where the magic is. That's where you actually get beauty. So, 
in a way that's why I actually hooked onto this as a fitness program because of the fact that it's so effective and we spend so little time doing it. So and today, you know, we basically want fast results uh, in the fastest time possible. So then we go last nine handstand push-ups. So in total, this workout is 45 deadlifts with a bar, 45 handstand push-ups, and completed in 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Thank you, everybody. That's